the Su-27. In 1969, the Soviets learned of the American FX program, which resulted in the F-15. It became almost immediately apparent to the Soviet leaders that this new jet the Americans were developing would be unbeatable with their current airframes. And so, the next race was on to develop a countermeasure. The Soviet scientists and engineers were commissioned to create two aircraft, the result of which led to the MiG-29 and the other program, the Su-27. These aircraft were designed to complement each other. However, it was the Su-27 that was the new jewel in the Soviet Air Force's arsenal. The Su-27 proved to be an incredibly difficult project with multiple setbacks and accidents occurring with the fighter. However, in 1985, the Su-27 finally entered service. The Su-27, in hindsight, was the last major fighter to enter the service of the Soviet Union before their eventual collapse. The aircraft's purpose was to match the capabilities of both the F-14 and F-15, whilst also acting as an interceptor for the American Strategic Air Command bombers, the B-52 and the B-1. The Su-27 could offer bomber support for the Soviets' own heavy bombers, such as the Tu-95, the Tu-22M and the Tu-160. The Su-27 was equipped with a 30mm gun, accompanied with 150 rounds of ammunition. It featured 10 hardpoints, which could equip R-27R1s and T-1 medium-range missiles, R-73E close combat air-to-air -air missiles and 100kg to 500kg of free-fall, incendiary or cluster bombs and C-8 and C-13 and C-25 unguided aerial missiles. The Su-27 is perhaps most famous for its ability to perform the Cobra maneuver. The Su-27's combat record is often disputed, yet many report its air-to-air kill-loss ratio to be 6 to 0. The majority of these kills were recorded by the Ethiopian Air Force during the war between Ethiopia and Eritrea. The Su-27 was pitted against the very aircraft it was designed to complement, the MiG-29. The Su-27 reportedly came out on top in every encounter. The Soviet fighter was 71 feet and 10 inches in length, with a wingspan of 48 feet and 3 inches. Today, the Su-27 can be seen to be operated by 12 countries, one of which is America, who uses the aircraft as an aggressor aircraft for their Air Force's pilots. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and comment which aircraft you'd like to see in the next one.